I'm Nitin Mantri. I am a senior lecturer at RMIT University and I research on traditional medicine plants. MGC Pharmaceuticals uh, Australia and uh, RMIT University have agreed to research on uh, medical cannabis and we are starting with two key projects right now and we are hoping to extend them to uh, a number of other projects in the near future. RMIT is collaborating with MGC on two key projects right now and we will be extending it to a number of other projects in the near future. Uh, the first key project that we are starting on is uh, building a global digital uh, library of cannabinoids that will encompass uh, detailed information of uh, you know, global strains, you know, their cannabinoid profiles, their genetic information and also uh, what conditions they are effective for. And the second parallel project that we are doing is uh, you know, looking at uh, the formulations uh, developed from medical cannabis and their positive effect on melanoma. The library project is constructing the world's first digital library of cannabinoids. We will have strain data that will include uh, you know, detailed genetic information for those strains, their phenotypic data, as well as their chemical profile. We will also be comparing that strain data with uh, effectiveness of those strains to treat various disorders and this is based on clinical and research data. Now we will be starting by first entering our own data that MGC has gathered and that RMIT will be gathering in the next couple of years but we will also be entering data from our global research partners and once we have all data in there we hope to develop an interface that uh, you know researchers, doctors and clinicians can use to look at which strain is effective for what particular disorder. Melanoma is a very significant condition for Australia. Australia has the highest rate of melanoma in the world. It is the third most common cancer for Australian men after prostate cancer and bowel cancer. When you look at Australian women, again it is the third most common cancer after breast cancer and bowel cancer. It becomes much more significant when you look at young Australians because 20% of all newly developed cancers are melanoma cancers. And what MGC has done in the last five years is along with its global partners, it has developed strains or identified strains that are effective against melanoma. Now, what we will be doing in this project is bringing in those strains in Australia, growing them in Australian conditions in controlled environment, and then doing selection, breeding, and genotyping to identify which strains are effective against melanoma. MGC has a rich history of researching on medical cannabis. In fact, some of the founders of MGC have been developing medical cannabis-based research products for a number of years now. Likewise, RMIT University has a rich history in our working on traditional medicine plants. In fact, we have a WHO center on traditional medicine plants. So when you bring these two organizations together, we are at the forefront of global medical cannabis research. Australia has been lagging behind in terms of other countries in giving access and license for use of medical cannabis. Uh, however, there is a lot of anecdotal evidence uh, right here in Australia and overseas as well on use of medical cannabis for you know, various disorders including chronic pain, cancer and so on. Now, overseas, uh, they have been given permission to legally use cannabis for a number of years now and uh, because of that regulated use, now there is a lot of evidence for example in countries like Canada uh, for use of medical cannabis to treat various conditions. Now that evidence is emerging overseas but soon when we do research in Australia we will be collecting evidence here and then you know uh, medical cannabis will become much more acceptable in Australia.